In this video, we're going to take a look at a stair design that was brought to my attention by one of our viewers who was wondering why they couldn't build a set of stairs like this one. So I went ahead and provided you with a moderate version and then a more extreme version and then definitely the most extreme version I could think of for the reasons why you're going to want to use bisecting angles or angles that will split the two changes of direction in half to provide you with the same size tread or steps and you're not going to get that with this one here where each one of the six steps on this side will have 11 inch treads and we'll even have an 11 inch measurement at this side all the way up but we're not going to have it over here and this is the problem you're going to run into if we don't run the angle right down the center of the bisecting stairway like we did here where you can see everything is 11 inches and the angle runs right down the center of the stairway. And hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one here where we have another angle along with some steps on this side that are going to be a little smaller than they are on this side or in this stairway. But that's not going to be the case over here where we're looking at the same tread depth measurements going all the way up and down the stairway. And that would be true even if you were walking down the center of the stairway here. And for those of you who are having a difficult time figuring out what these floor plans would look like, I went ahead and created a couple of models that you could look at. So again, a stairway that should meet most building codes on this side, along with a stairway that's probably not going to meet your local building codes. Or should I say at least most of the building codes in the United States. And of course, with this picture, it's not too difficult to see the problem where we have smaller steps on this side of the stairway than we do on this side of the stairway. And of course, the last design where I took it to another level with this design here, you're probably not going to see something like this ever built unless it was going to have a guardrail here or something to prevent the people from walking from this side of the stairway to this side. And of course, this design here is using a 90 degree angle. Same as this one right here, allowing us to use 45 degree miters or half of the 90 degree angle to install these stair treads. And by now you should know a little bit more about bisecting angles and how they're used when building and designing stairs. And thanks for watching. To learn more about home building and repairs, visit us at our website. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time.